Garden City Center in Cranston is the setting for Rhode Island National Drive Electric Day. This is an event to promote alternative fuel transportation and EVs, electric vehicles. This event here at Garden City Center is one of about 150 events nationwide to um, promote electric vehicles and raise awareness about their benefits. Kia has an entry in the EV arena, the Soul. And John, tell us about the, the Kia Soul. Okay, it's an all new car. Uh, just came out in California last week. Uh, it's got a range of 93 miles. There's two ways to plug in. The uh, regular plug is for 110 or 220, and then the fast charging plug is for uh, DC charging. But Dennis, even Mercedes-Benz is getting into the EV world. Tell us about this b class It doesn't look like a Mercedes, but, but, it's, but it's an electric. Nope, not to us in the United States. It's the, a B-Class platform, which has been in Europe uh, for many years, and this is the first time it's in the United States. It's a front-drive-based system, but it's all electric. There's no engine at all. What can you tell us about the performance? Because everybody wants to know about the pep and the performance in an electric vehicle. Well, this is probably one of the quickest small cars there is. When uh, electric motors have full torque, full power on demand, and if you put the accelerator to the floor, it'll burn rubber. And it gets about uh, 84 to 110 miles per charge, depending on which package you get. Here's a familiar face, Eric Ferrer from Anchor Nissan. Tell us about the Nissan Leaf. Well, John, the uh, Nissan Leaf, it's, uh, it's redesigning this year and, and increasing the miles, so it's exciting a lot of people. And uh, it's bringing in a, a very big crowd now that you're well over the, the 100 mile mark. And the, the cost of ownership is almost next to nothing. Chris, I mean, you, you could buy any car you want, and you bought the Tesla S. Tell us why. Well, one of the main reason is, is efficiencies. So on average, I can get about 300, 310 miles, and that's driving at highway speed, 65, maybe a little higher, uh, to keep up with traffic. And then if I go into the back roads, I can actually get a lot longer range. I can get 340, 375 uh, by going to slower speeds, just going in the back roads. So at this point in time, this really kind of has the mother of all electric batteries compared to some of the other vehicles we see here today. Oh yeah, and they're, and they're continually improving them. I think uh, Tesla with Motors was, they're talking about a 500 mile battery, and the interior is kind of funky too, isn't it, huh? <laughs> yeah, the full touch screen, they got a full 17 inch touch screen, all the controls are on it. It's like two buttons in the whole car. And as the auto manufacturers continue to improve the technology in the hopes of making EVs more mainstream, many government leaders are taking notice and recognizing the benefits. Well, I think we're going to be at a time fairly soon when it's not going to take an incentive to get people into an electric car. The range is growing. The performance is unbelievable. I mean, they are out of this world as vehicles. And, um, you know, we want to make sure that we're supporting the growth of this industry. But I think we're at the stage where, you know, this is an industry that's really going to be able to stand on its own. And you're seeing all the major gas-powered vehicle makers move in as well. So they know this is a big future.